Okay then guys, here's a little user guide for the Binomial McLaurins and Taylor series. Live worksheet, this is a live worksheet as I say. I'll be putting it up on Google Play in a few days time. Uh, so all you need to do, if you want to download this live worksheet, is type in any one of these key search words and it should appear. Look out for the doggy icon. His name is Freddy, by the way. Whenever you see a doggy icon, that will take you to my developer page um, um, because that's the, the icon that I use um, for my apps. All my apps are free and they're all available on Google Play. So you're welcome to, to download any of them, of course. As I say, this one's on Binomial McLaurin's and Taylor series. So I'll just take you through the topics that we're going to do. We start with Binomial series. Um, there's several questions on here, about 30 questions on the binomial series. Each section starts with a question or intro just to get you started and make you feel comfortable with the subject. Here we look for binomial series. We derive the formula in question naught and then we use it in the subsequent questions. But the idea here is you have a go at the questions and then you can click on the video solutions. When you do, they'll be ticked off uh, just to keep a track of your progress. So we start, as I say, on binomial series. Then we look at the extended binomial series. And again, there's a question or intro here for this section. In the second section, I think there's 25 questions uh, and video solutions for this one. And then we finish off with 40 questions on McLaurin's and Taylor series. So in all, there's 30, 55, 95, about 100 uh, questions and live video solutions for these questions. Um, we go on then in the third row to McLaurin's and Taylor series. Again, there's an intro give you the standard booklet. We start off gently, make you feel comfortable with the subject and then the level of difficulty generally gets more, increases as the questions continue. Um, as I've said before, when you click on a question, look at the video solution. It ticks, make marks a tick in the question just to keep a track of your progress. You can reset any particular row or reset all so that you can have a fresh go and uh, uh, and use that functionality here. This is a, the user guide of course and there's an also a, a tool along the bottom. Along the bottom all the tools I'll be putting and I'll just run you through them briefly now. There's an email math queue. If you've got a question on this particular topic, click on this. Capture a picture of your handwritten question. Send it in by email and I'll have a look and uh, if I get time I'll write you up a video solution. Send you the private YouTube video link for that. There's a whole array of tool, useful tools here, which I'll also be putting up as widgets on Google Play. There'll be a binomial calculator, so you can just type in any binomial series um, and input, and it will work out the binomial series for you. There's also a McLaurin's and Taylor series calculator as well. So you can type in any function and it will generate either the McLaurin series or the Taylor series for the respective problems. So if you have any homework you're doing, you want to check your solutions are correct, then these will be a, an array of handy tools here. This is the recommended apps. Um, I'll be putting up my developer page here, ease of access to that. And also I think I'm going to put up an app recommended on polar coordinates. So if you want to look into polar coordinates, just click on that and you can download the app there. If you prefer to work independently of the live worksheet, then here's the PDF. So you can download, click on this, download the PDF file, print it off, and just work on the worksheet independently. And then you can come back and check the solutions if you wish. And if there's anything else new that I want to put on between now and the time I put up on Google Play, I'm putting up in a few days' time, I'll put a few extra tools along here. So that's it then, guys. There's the user guide. I hope you enjoyed this um, this live worksheet. Any pro questions or problems, just give us a buzz, send us an email, let us know how you're getting on. Be nice to hear from you. And uh, any suggestions for new topics is always very much appreciated. So, so as I say, all the best with this uh, worksheet then, guys. And I'll catch you again in another worksheet. Cheers.